This is Dango's C01 Slim Wallet. It is slim and it has great capacity and the interest of the design makes this really cool. Keep watching. Welcome to Walletopia. I've been asked how I get my wallets. Well, I purchase them all. We don't accept freebies from companies as we want all the reviews to be our own. Now, we'd love to hear from companies who want us to review their wallets. We hear from them and that's all good, but rest assured we buy them all from them and that way our reviews are never bought. So, now let's open up the Dango C01 Civilian Slim Wallet. All right, as you can see, it comes in the Dango metal box, which is something that you'd expect from Dango. And it's always a nice touch. We open this up. We have their tether that always comes with their products. It's a signature piece. Thank you. Usually there's uh, some kind of an instruction card about how to use it, but I think this is pretty simple. So it comes with a silicon band and the wallet itself. So let's take a look at this a little bit closer. It's got many layers here. And that's what actually creates the spaces for wall or for cash and for cards. It's got a stamp here, Italian leather, and the sewing is done really well. It's double stitched on all the stretch points. So that's something that uh, is nice to see. Now let's do a feature review of the Dango C01 Civilian Slim Wallet. With the C01, uh, unlike all of the other Dango products, it has just this singular metal piece over here and this is available for tethers as well as for lanyards. Uh, they all have that capability one way or the other. And so from here we've got several layers of leather that make up its capacity. So on the front we have a card slot here. In the middle right behind that we have yet another slot for cards which provides full coverage for your cards as you put them in there. If we flip this over we'll notice that we immediately have yet another slot right here in this crisscross pattern. This is for more cards, which is nice. And this final piece in the back, which is more or less a strap, is really where you put your cash. And with that, it also comes with the silicon strap. This uh, goes over the entire wallet front to back. And we'll try and do this without cards. It's not gonna look all that great if you don't have something in there, cards or cash, but we'll show you the way it looks. And it fits uh, right here in this middle piece. And that is what provides you uh, the ability to secure everything together. Now, whether you use this or not, uh, I think is up to you. I've heard reports that it makes it difficult for you to access cards in here. But of course, it also provides an additional space to put cash or cards uh, that you might want to store here. So that is a quick review of the features of the Dango C01 Civilian Wallet. Now moving on to the card and cash insertion test. As you saw, I easily put eight cards in the various slots. The company recommends 10, you know, but if you use the available multi-tool, you'll lose a slot, but there's always capacity here as the leather will expand. It can handle five slips of cash folded over once, and that's awesome, and it does make it look great uh, at the same time. It, there's just no gaps. It just uh, looks really good. Now, while the uh, silicon strap looks good, following the design pattern of all the Dango product offerings, and, and pr it provides the ability to store additional cards, uh, it can get in the way. And the reason why is that it's there to hold things in. And so if you have to get to things, you're gonna to have to pull that off or you're really just gonna to have to fold it open hard. And uh, to ease, easily access cards in the various slots, uh, you may or may not wanna use it. Now it's made of Italian leather, handmade in the United States, which is a nice touch, uh, but it is cut very thin, uh, which is purposeful because of the multi-layers that we have here. And it really, so you're not creating a lot of bulk and it does prevent it from becoming too bulky. Now it looks like it's made of genuine leather, which is used in most of their other products. This, the wallet is from the Dango's C line, which stands for civilian, and is one of their slimmest wallet offerings that they have. This tab here is made from 6061 aerospace grade CNC aluminum, and it's uh, for use with lanyards or tethers, as we kind of mentioned early on. It does come with a lanyard piece, which I showed you, I'm not gonna grab it now. Uh, Dango also sells full tethers, which you can use to attach this wallet to your pants, 
uh, to uh, other offerings to keep pickpockets away or have it from falling out inadvertently. Now, the screws that are in here are mil-spec stainless steel. And the stitching is done nicely on this, and it's double stitched at each of the ends for stress points and making sure it handles uh, the, the durability uh, test that you'd put against it. Now, the pricing is $49. It's designed and manufactured in the United States, and that's an incredibly fair price for this. And actually, it's excellent, to be honest. The usability with this uh, layered leather uh, design is very clever. As you can see, it just provides a lot of interest as well as the functional application. And as I mentioned, it does work with the Dango MT-02 multi-tool. And like I said, you will put it here in the middle, at which point then you've lost this slot for anything else other than the multi-tool. But if it's useful to you, that's why it's there. It measures 3.39 inches by 2.13 inches by a quarter inch thin. I really like this as a slim wallet because it has the interesting design aspect to it and is very functional, uh, but still has this industrial look and feel that you get from all of Dango's products. The customer service and support that you get from Dango is excellent, and with few exceptions, most people really enjoy this model. It is different, so you need to give it time before you decide whether or not you like it. Now let's get into the final score. For quality of four, for price of four, features of four, usability of three, and perception of four. That gives us a final score of 3.8 out of five, or 38 out of 50. Thanks for joining us. Please leave us a message at walletopia.info ask, and let us know if there's a wallet you'd like us to review. Appreciate your time. Thanks, bye.